Seven dogs that look like Shih Tzu, mirror images, copycats, and near misses. But geez, all those little dogs look the same. That is what those of us who do not own Shih Tzus or see them every day think. Of course, not all small breeds look identical. However, several breeds look a lot like Shih Tzus, especially when you consider the recent trend to add more colors. To mount to spare though because there are some surefire tips to differentiate confusing breeds. Perhaps among the most famous dogs that look like Shih Tzu are Lhasa Apsos. Other near lookalikes are the Havanese, Russian Svetnaya Balanka, Shikin, and Maltipu. Several dogs are similar in stature and temperament to the Shih Tzu, do not look much like it. Still, another group of dogs looks similar to Shih Tzus, but you can easily tell them apart. However, by looking at size, coat texture, and color possibilities and physical features, you will soon be able to pick out a Shih Tzu from a class of any small or toyed breed. What makes a Shih Tzu? The history, breed standard, coat, and colors are what make the Shih Tzu stand apart from others and contribute to its similarities with certain dogs. Brief Backdrop Although China often receives credit for developing the Shih Tzu, its ancestors originated in Tibet. Part of the Shih Tzu's ancestry likely involved none other than Lhasa Apso. China then crossed these squat little dogs with the Pekingese and perhaps Pug, possibly to dwarf their features and make them more appealing to the royalty who coveted them as pampered pets. Shih Tzus came into their own palace watchdogs by the 1630s, however, they blossomed under the rule of the Dowager Empress Tzu Tsai who cherished the breed. The Shih Tzu flourished from the 1860s to about 1908. As with many breeds, the Shih Tzu almost died out, in this case from the death of the Empress and not war times. Revival of the breed was based on seven prime individuals of each gender and official breed standard came out in 1938. Shih Tzu Breed Standard we will discuss how other breeds deviate from Shih Tzu's breed standard to aid you in making tough distinctions. Size The Shih Tzu is a small dog in the toy category. Both sexes are similar in size, ranging from 8 to 11 inches tall and weighing 9 to 16 pounds. However, the AKI prefers narrower height restrictions between 9 and 10 and a half inches. No longer square-shaped like their ancient forefathers, a Shih Tzu should be compact and slightly longer than tall. All official heights measure a dog at the shoulders. This is relevant because you will run across breeds where the hips are higher than the shoulders. Males can have more substance and be a little heavier than females. You will not see sexual dimorphism, gender differences, to nearly the extent you would in many other breeds. Head A Shih Tzu's head is broad and the face round. The breed has wide spaced large eyes that should always appear to be set forward and looking straight at you. Dogs with dilute coat colors have light colored eyes. Otherwise, Shih Tzus have round, dark, and expressive eyes and low-set hanging ears. Their ears are large relative to their head. A Shih Tzu is marked by a dome-shaped forehead, a definite stop, and an undershot jaw. The muzzle is short and square. Body Everything about the Shih Tzu should look balanced, smooth, and flowing. The breed is comprised of curves rather than angles, with the neck flowing into the shoulders and chest. The chest should not be too wide or deep, and the top line is level as it meets the croup and hips. Shih Tzus are surprisingly sturdy for their size. Assessing the body condition accurately in this breed is essential, as they are prone to become overweight yet do not have an obvious waist or an abdominal tuck-up from the chest to the pelvis. A few dogs that look like Shih Tzu There are a few dogs that look so much like Shih Tzus that it may cause you to take a second look. Lhasa Apso It can be very difficult to tell Lhasa Apsos and Shih Tzus apart. The Lhasa Apso also originated in Tibet thousands of years ago, and many historians feel it was an important ancestor of the Shih Tzu. Russian Svetnaya Balanka Russian Balanka ancestors hail from France. Moscow and Petersburg cultivated companion dogs from these gift pets brought over by Louis XIV around the 18th century. They belong to the Bikan family and experienced crossing with Russian local dogs and the Pekingese Balinese and Bikan fries in their development. Havanese with many dog breeds, people seem to have come up with similar ideas in different areas of the world. The Havanese looks like the Shih Tzu but originated in Cuba. It is a member of the Bikan family with the Maltese, Bikan fries, and others. Maltipu A Maltipu, or a cross between a Maltese and a Poodle, can often look much like a Shih Tzu. There are important consistent differences. Peking Geese Like the other Chinese toy breeds, the Peking Geese is an ancient dog from at least 2,000 years ago, and only Chinese royals were permitted to have them. They were watchdogs and companions of the imperial courts. Maltese Although its history is not known with complete certainty, many experts believe the Maltese originated in Malta off Italy. At the very least, it appears that much of its development took place on those islands. Scientists also commonly believe the Maltese is the oldest of the Bikans. 
If you want to know more, click the link below or visit fluffydogbreeds.com.